the Spoons 313 here. Um, I'm being joined today by my brother West Ham Sam 313, and we're going to be playing co op on the Agents of Yesterday um, on Star uh, Trek hi, Online. Guys. Say hello, Sam. Okay, he's not saying hello. Hi, guys. Right, I did tell him not to, not to talk over me, he's got a habit of doing that. Um, and we're going to be playing the third mission in Agents of Yesterday, which is called Painful Omens, and we starting it by having to go to deep space K13 spurious signals so here I am Captain Bistop on the USS Slinky and here's Sam here he's the, he's the Vulcan called Timing he's just joining me as a guest on my bridge right now but he's got his own ship which he'll be beaming off back to in just a moment so without further yeah. ado let's get back to playing the game and make our way to Deep Space K-13. Timing, I'm pleased that you're joining me for this mission. And if you'd like to beam back to your ship, you have permission to do so now, so we can continue on our Deep Space mission to Deep Space K-13. Transporter room, lock on to Timing and beam him back to his ship. Go on to beam up. Yay. Bye bye. Morton, set a course to Deep Space K-13 at a thought factor of five. Engage. This is Bisto to Taming. Bisto to Taming. This is the USS Slinky. We're on our way and plotting a course to Steep Space K13. We're rendezvous with you when we get there. Okay, Bisto. Bisto. I'll see you there. We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. I'm not picking up any comm traffic, no signals, nothing at all from K-13 or the other ships in the system. Scan for signs of enemy ships or activity. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat either. This is peculiar. Thank you, darling. I'm not sure what to make of it. Yellow alert, prepare for approach. Yeah, let's do that. Why is the camera doing that? Oh no, Perseus class escorts. Fire, 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 bottom torpedoes. You know how to play the game. Perseus class escorts. Gotta punch through their shields. Basic maneuvers. Going after the oh, I've got one more pioneer class frigate on my tail. Let's take him down. Yeah, I got rid of that other one. So you got rid of one. I got rid of one. Now we've got this one to get rid of. Let's take them together. Fire torpedoes. Do it. Fire. Hey. Oh shit! To the sea, captain. Those star were Starfleet ships assigned to patrol this sector. I don't think there was a war game of training soon. Their weapons were at full power. See if you can raise any of the ships. Use all channels. Try whatever it takes to get through. Stay away. No, they're taking... Message from Starfleet Command, Captain. We're to investigate the situation immediately. Captain Doherty mentioned the station. Bring us close enough to scan K-13. To Ming, follow me. Okay, Mister. Even though I'm ahead of you. Aye. Rendezvous at the station. Full impulse. Proceed with caution. 
Okay. Bagish scan. <clears throat> no signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form readings either. Everything's quiet. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over there, but I'm not reading any unusual activity. All of the station systems seem to be functioning normally. Think we should beam over and have a look around? Hmm. Have a landing party meet me in the transporter room. I don't like this. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transport operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? The tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Looks like they're in sickbay, just across the hall. Set phasers to stun. Let's get to the bottom of this. Those blast points on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here, but with whom? No sign of Klingon or Romulan weapon fire, just Federation. Hmm, I've got a bad feeling about this. Check your weapons. To me, why are you standing there? Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Stop where you are and turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Infected with what exactly? Neuroparasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage in hostilities with the uninfected. The better to render them fit for infestation. Well, as you can see, we're friendly, Ensign. To Matt, and while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary prey. A tricorder scan of your adrenaline levels should verify your status. A logical precaution, Ensign. Scan away. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious where these parasites are concerned. Tell me more about them. I want to know what we're dealing with. They are a life form that propagates by infiltrating the nervous system of a host creature. Through this neural link, they can compel their host to obey their bidding. They can also inflict extreme pain upon the host at will, and do so to discourage attempts at resistance. While effective, this punishment can lead to permanent neurological damage or death. At this time, most of the station personnel have become infected. While there is a possibility of uninfected survivors, I must warn that it is remote. I see. Any recommendations, Ensign? According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high-intensity ultraviolet light. My attempts at reconfiguring the station's lighting thus far have been unsuccessful. I am a physician, not a habitat engineer. I see. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to inoculate your landing party and one other person. I'll take any edge I can get. In the meantime, let's see if we can find anyone else via the comm system. Timing. Access to comm system. This is Lieutenant Plonk of the USS Slinky. Is anyone on the station able to respond? Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. The weed devils are back with a vengeance. So I see. We're safe up here in Sick Bay. Can you join us here? Ah, uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the artillery control room down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. Understood, Scotty. We'll make our way to you. Plonk out. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you another edge against the parasites. Excellent, excellent. Ensign, you're with us. Let's gear up and head to engineering.
Let's get up, everybody. Mm. Oh. I've got all this stuff. I don't need it. Not for you. For your flipping ensigns. <sighs> so selfish, boy. I am. My two ensigns haven't got any body armor. Neither have mine. Now they have. Right, the rest of it's just um, standard stuff. I've already given decent enough weapons. There you go. Ready? Let's proceed to the mess hall and look for the crew. Nothing in there. Just being nosy. Oh, you can't even walk in there. No, you <gasps> can't. I try. You ready? Aye. I'm in there this day. Oh, shite. Ah, set phase is to stun only. We may be able to gain useful knowledge by scanning one of the infected. Holy moly. Hey, the Type 1 phaser go, uh, shoots red now instead of blue. Sam. We should consider yeah. taking Yeah, it doesn't shoot blue anymore, it shoots red. While I have committed Dr. McCoy's data on the parasites to memory, we may be able to learn something useful from a more in-depth medical analysis. Good thinking, Ensign. Let's scan the infected. Put your gun down. I know. Your phaser. The creatures continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be... fascinating. I'm detecting an unusually high level of tachyons nearby. Based on these readings, it is possible that a temporal event has occurred on the station within the last 4.2 hours. Fascinating indeed. Let's keep going. Put that away. Ah, oh, my character's been a plonker. Right. Don't go too far ahead, mate. I'm not, don't worry. Stick with me to me. Oh, I'm stuck. Play. See that? Yeah. It's quite refreshing, actually. Who threw that grenade? I said stun only. Any more grenades and you'll be on a stern reprimand. That includes you too, Hunter. This, uh, come Don't on. want any deaths on our hands. Take the turbo lift to engineering. Right, we'll take the turbo lift to engineering. Now. The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The biosigns match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Let's not keep him waiting then. Move out. Wait. Hi there. It's good to see a friendly face. Scotty! Ah, there you are. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. But you might have been taken by those little beasties. I'll just lock the door so none of them can get in while we discuss our next course of action. Now that you're here, we've some work to do. The way I see it, we need to get to main engineering and turn on the station's ultraviolet lighting. That'll sort the nasty bugs out properly. Is that so, Timet? While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to sort Denovan parasites, it will initiate a complete molecular breakdown within all parasites exposed to it. Ahem. <clears throat> Ensign. Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying to override the lighting controls from here. It looks like someone sabotaged several duotronic relays. We have to repair them if we're going to have any chance of saving the station. Before we go, grab yourself a kit from the crate there. It might come in handy. 
We better get a move on. The parasites aren't ones to loiter about. Glad you're with us, Scotty. Lead the way. More kit. Excellent. Oh. Kit. Uh, this is one of the broken yeah, rules. Kit from the kit. Tactical kit. Standard issue. About time. Excellent. Just a few more to go. So you're gonna love this, Ted. You know, you know, you said uh, there are several ways through the internet. Stun only. We got given grenades. I'm not gonna use one. Tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid them, do your best to stay in the lit areas. Thank you for the reminder, Mr. Scott. Good old Mr. Scott. Timing. Don't be so hasty. Sorry, Bisto. You just need to stop me this left. Remember, what the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. Whoa! Timing, I told what you. Not? Oh my goodness! I told you not to be so hasty. It disintegrated. Our odds of success are greatest if we remain in well-lit areas. Do we have this Yeah. Hi. I'll have this fixed up straight away. Stick to the well-lit areas. Wow. That's Lieutenant Commander Scott. Ah, wow, they're all over the wall. Ah, they're everywhere! Stick to the well lit areas. Well, 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 It's just like a piece of plasticine, he just throws it on the floor. Now it's for the parasites. Where's Scott? There he is. No, it's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Shut up. Ah! Look out! Who threw that grenade? Not me. Right, moving on. What the heck is Tarly doing? It's this way, anyhow. Come on. Awesome got attacked. Little beasties. You're not getting past me. Come on, guys. Right. I'm going to activate the UV lighting now. Activating. Oh. Uh, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. All right, Scotty, stay safe. To Ming, let's get out. Okay, dude. We'll take the Jeffrey's tube to the command deck. Good old Jeffrey's tube. Oh my goodness. Soldiers. They're definitely not Starfleet. The base commander. Stand down! Activate the UV station lighting from here. Like 
Yeah, what it does is it, it mimics the um, practical effects I used to use back in the 60s. Awesome. Hang on a minute, what are they doing here? They're dying, all of them. Who's that? They're from the future, remember? Oh uh, yeah. Of course, um, we don't remember because we haven't been there. <laughs> That's uh, other people. That's what I call alien intruders. Great reflexes there to me. Excellent job. We need to talk. Cheers, Mr. Now is not a good time, Hunter. Guess we're gonna talk anyway. Actually, the name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far. Just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Naku from right. obtaining the neural parasites. What? Oh. The Naku ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Naku. And neither is your ship, at least not alone. We should eliminate the parasites on the ships you fought earlier. <laughs> Those crews will help you once their minds are their own again. It's risky, but it's our best shot here. Beam to ship. Let's beam off of this station. That was a lot to swallow from Daniels there. What do you make of it, Deming? The Ptolemy is holding a Nakayol off by the risk of the other ships, but they won't last long. K-13 is hailing us, Captain. On screen. I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. Aye, thanks, Scotty. This is Captain Seralt of the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Oh Please my goodness, look at that ship! Join the fight quickly. Never imagined anything like that. I need to get closer, I need to slow down. Looks like everyone's coming around. My impulse How speed is too big. This is Captain Dwarf, USS Myrmidon. Temporal shielding? Never heard of it. But maybe a modulated iron version is destructed. Crew was taken over by a neural parasites. We've defeated them. Now we need your help fighting this alien ship. Acknowledged. Oh, we're under heavy fire. That's Kero. battleship. Basic maneuvers. Punch through the back of their shields. Yeah. This looks like we're cutting in. Well aimed photon torpedoes should finish that off. Oh, what a charger. Not for another speed. Three one seconds. Fire! Fire! Yes! It's like an eyeball. <laughs> Find 
work on Yes, sir. I didn't even get to read that. Hang on. I've got to fix the ship. Oh, work as fast as you can. Morton, we need this ship up and running. Drop out of impulse. Give him more power. We've got to evacuate K-13. Let's hop to it. Scott here. The portal's collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Oh, no. Scotty is aboard. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before that portal blows. There she goes. I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. Morton! Oh. Captain. Before K-13 was pulled into that vortex, I picked up a few distress signals from inside the station. Damn, we're missing people. They're gone! Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well survive. In another time. Let's hope so, Scotty. Let's hope so. Well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites. Time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more valuable than equipment. And you saved a lot of lives today. Thanks, Scotty. Give my regards to Captain Kirk and his crew. Pistol out. I apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute, and I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about the Nakul or their time travel. We can't risk any further corruption of the time. Understood. We'll talk soon, Daniels. And I'm going to need more answers. System scans clear, Captain. Looks like everything's getting back to normal. We can leave the system on your orders. Well, that was an interesting mission. Yeah, it was. Didn't pick up a science officer for it, though. Good work out there. Keep it up. All right, continue. Stay safe out there. Oh, I have got a science officer. Nice. To net. Fine. I got a tier two torpedo launcher. I got tier two tier two shields. I got ship shields. Obviously, I'm now Lieutenant Command 10, so I get to get my ship upgrade. No, I want to... go to Earth Space Dock, quick. I wanted to collect my rewards for that mission, and I can't. I only got any missions coming up. I don't even know what I got for it. Everything by the looks of it. Bloody hell. I did it all. Still there, bro? Yeah. Cool. Hey, there's someone from the future here. It doesn't surprise me. So I reckon our characters from the future will be coming back here as well. That means you may be able to invite our characters to the fleet. Hopefully so, but not yet. <laughs> Sam, I've just um you did not you you did not meet the requirements for this item. What is it? I got I just got those admirality cards and I've got an inquisitive tribble. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, go to the, the C store and promotions and you can still download that stuff for your old character. Oh cool. So I have got a tribble. And I can use the Tribble, and the Tribble will give me more XP. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, thanks for playing that mission with me, Sam. It was fun. Dark and bright. 
Um, you just need to learn not to run ahead so much. And yeah. I need to learn to remember which voice I'm using for what character because I cannot remember what voice I gave Morton, so I just went to normal. Cool. All right, see you later, guys. See ya. Well, that was an exciting mission, wasn't it? It was a little bit higgledy piggledy and up and down. I try to stay in character as long as I can, but when you're playing with someone else, it's very, very hard to keep your train of thought and your concentration on one or two things at once. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please feel free to like and subscribe and join me again with Captain Bisto. Until then, Bisto out.